The World Chess Championship 2006 was a match between classical world chess champion Vladimir Kromnik, and Fide world chess champion Veselin Topolov. The title of world chess champion had been split for 13 years. This match, played between September 23 and October 13, 2006, in Alista, Kalmykia, Russia, was to reunite the two world chess champion titles and produce an undisputed world champion. Kromnik won the first two games, establishing a commanding lead. However, after Topolov's camp alleged that Kromnik was using computer assistance, Kromnik forfeited Game 5. He eventually agreed to play again under protest. Topolov won games 8 and 9, taking the lead for the first time, but Kromnik struck back with a win in game 10. The remaining games were drawn, sending the match to a tiebreak. After a draw in the first game and a win apiece in the second and third games, Kromnik won the fourth game after Topolov blundered, to win the tiebreak and the match, becoming the 14th undisputed world chess champion. <laughs> <laughs> Background After Garry Kasparov split from Fide in 1993, there were two world chess champions. There was the classical world champion, the title that only passes on to a player when he defeats the previous world champion. This was held by Kasparov, until he was defeated by Kromnik in the classical world chess championship 2000. There was also the official Fide World Champion, determined by various tournament formats, held since the Fide World Chess Championship 2005 by Topolov. From 1993 to 2006, no match was ever held between the various classical and official champions. This match brought the two title holders together to unify the World Chess Championship for the first time since the 1993 split. Topic: Negotiations. Kromnik was invited to the Fide World Chess Championship 2005 in San Luis, Argentina. As classical world champion, he refused to play, but indicated his willingness to play the winner in a match to unify the title. Negotiations for a match began soon after Topolov won in San Luis, but broke down after the two camps were unable to overcome substantial differences of opinion. However, in April 2006, Fide announced that Kromnik would play current Fide champion Veselin Topolov in a world championship match to unify the classical champion line with the Fide championship. The prize fund of $1 million would be evenly divided between the players, regardless of the outcome of the match. Head-to-head <inaudible> 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 -head> In past encounters, Kromnik had defeated Topolov ten times, lost five games, with 24 draws, this becomes plus 1 9 minus 9 equals 34 if rapid and blindfold games are included. In classical time control games since the beginning of 2004, the score was two wins each, with three draws. Topic. Match conditions The match was a best of 12 games. Players scored one point for a win and half a point for a draw. If, after 12 games, the score was tied at six points each, then a tie break would be held. As it turned out, the first round of tie breaks rapid games was indeed required, and was held on October 13, 2006. Topic. Time control From the match conditions 
The primary time control for each game shall be, 40 moves in the first 120 minutes, and if that is met, then a secondary time control of 20 moves in 60 minutes, and if that is also met, then the rest of the game shall be played out in 15 minutes, with an additional 30 seconds per move starting from move 61. Topic. Tie break method The tie break is only used if the match is tied at six points apiece after the 12 regular games. In the event of the tie break, the players play four rapid games each with a time limit of 25 minutes, plus 10 seconds per move. If the score is still tied, this is followed by two blitz games each with a time limit of 5 minutes, plus 10 seconds per move. If the score is still tied, this is followed by a sudden death game, white has 6 minutes and needs to win, black has 5 minutes and needs to draw or win. Topic. Schedule and results Colors were determined for the regular games by the drawing of lots at the opening ceremony on 21 September 2006. The colors reversed between games 6 and 7. The colors for the first tie-break game were decided by drawing lots again. All regular games, and the first tie-break game, began at 3 p.m. local time, which corresponds to 1100 UTC. Topic. Regular games Topic. Rapid tie break games Topic. Regular games This is the only World Chess Championship match where the same opening move 1, D4, was played in every game. Only two openings, the Slav Defense and the Catalan, were played. Topic. Game 1, Kromnik Topolov, 1-0. Kromnik won the first round of this match in a 75-move game that lasted six and a half hours. Topolov, whose style is more tactical than positional, blundered when he played a risky move late in the game. Topolov had a drawn position throughout most of the game and made a fatal miscalculation. Catalan opening, E04 1. D4 NF6 2. C4 E6 3. NF3 D5 4. G3 DX C4 5. BG2 B flat 4 plus 6. BD2 A5 7. QC2 BX D2 plus 8. QX D2 C6 9. A4 B5 10. AX B5 CX B5 11. QG5 0 0 1 2. QXB5 BA 6 13, QA4 QB 6 14. 0 to 0 QXB2 15. NBD2 B flat 5 16. NXC4 BXA4 17. NXB2 B flat 5 18. NA5 RA7 19. BF3 NBD 720. NEC4 RB8 21. RFB1 G5 E3 G4 BD1 BC6 24. RC1 B4 25. NA4 RB4 26. ND6 BF3 27. BXF3 GXF328. NC8 RA829. NA7 plus kilogram 730. NC6 RB331. NC5 RB532. 
H3NXC533. RXC5RB234. RG5 plus KH635. RGXA5RXA536. NXA5 NA437. RF1ND238. RC1 NA439. RF1 F640. NC6 ND241. Road 1 NA442. RF1 kg 6 Topolov plays for a win. 42. ND243. Road 1 NA4 would repeat moves, with a likely draw. 43. ND8 RB644. RC1 H545. RA1 H446. GXH4 KH547. RA2 KXH448. KH2 KH549. RC2 KH650. RA2 kg 651. RC2 KF552. RA2 RB553. NC6 RB754. RA5 plus kg 655. RA2 KH556. D5 E557. RA4 F5. 57. NXF2, 58, kg 3E4. 59, KXF2 RB2 plus 60, K1 RB1 plus 61, KF2 RB2 plus followed by continued checks on B1 and B2 draws. White cannot vary from this line with 60, kg 3, because 60, RG2 plus 61, KF4 F262, RA1 RG1 wins, nor with 60, K1 RB1 plus 61, KD2, because 61, F2 wins. 58. NXE5 RB259. ND3 RB760. Road 4 RB661. D6 NX D662. Kilogram 3 NA4 plus 63. KXF 3 kilograms 564. H4 plus KF665. Road 5 NC366. Road 8 RB167. RF8 plus K668. NF4 plus K569. RE8 plus KF670. NH5 plus kilogram 671. ING3 RB272. H5 plus KF773. RE5 ND174. NE2 KF675. ROAD5-1-0. Topic. Game 2, Topolov Kromnik, 0 2 1. Kromnik won the second game of the match after 63 moves, taking a 2 0 lead. Topolov missed winning continuations at move 32 and 36. Some inaccuracies later in the game cost him the draw. Slav defense, D19. 1. D4 D5 2. C4 C6 3. NC3 NF6 4. NF3 DX C4 5. A4 BF5 6. E3 E6 7. BX C4 B flat 4 8. 0 to 0 NBD 7 9. QE2 BG6 10. E4 0 0 1 1. BD3 BH512. E5 ND513. NXD5 CXD514. QE3 BG615. ING5 RE816. F4 BXD317. QXD3 F518. B3 NF819. KH1 RC820. 
G4QD721. RG1B722. NF3RC423. RG2FXG424. RXG4RXA425. RAG1G626. H4RB427. H5QB528. QC2RXB229. HXG6H5 Kromnik said that he wanted to play 29. NXG6, but saw 30. QXG6 plus, HXG6 31, RXG6 plus KH7 31. KF7 32, RG7 plus KF8 33, RG8 plus KF7 34, R1 G7 number 32, R6 G3, forcing mate. 30. G7, HXG4 31. GXF8 Q plus BXF8? 31. KXF8, 32. QG6 plus, 32, RXG4 plus wins immediately, e.g. 32, BG7 33, QC7. QF1 plus 34, ING1, or 32, KH8 33, QG6. BG7 33. F5 RE7 34. F6 QE235. QXG4 RF736. RC1 36. QH5. Still wins 36. RC237. RXC2 QD1 plus 38. Kilogram 2 QXC2 plus 39. Kilogram 3 QE440. BF4 QF541. QXF5 EXF542. BG5A543. KF4A444. KXF5A345. BC1 BF846. E6RC747. BXA3 BXA348. K5 RC149. Ing5 RF150. E7 Re1 plus 51. KXD5 BXE752. FXE7 RXE753. KD6 Re1. GM John Nunn demonstrated that 53. Re3 was the only winning move, 54. D5 KF8 55. Ne 6 plus? GM Mihail Marin, annotating the game on the Chessbase site after the game, noted that endgame table bases show that 55, KD7, still draws. K8 56. NC7 plus KD8 57. Ne 6 plus KC8 58. K7 RH159. Ing 5 B 560. D 6 Road 161. Ne 6 B 462. N C 5 Re 1 plus 63. K F 6 Re 3 O 1. Topic. Game 3, Kromnik Topolov, 1 half to 1 half. The third game ended in a draw after 38 moves keeping Kromnik in a two-and-a-half to one-half lead. Kromnik White had the advantage for much of the game. According to commentators he at least twice avoided moves with more winning chances but which also carried more risk, 17. Nay 4 and 32. EXD 5. Catalan opening, EO 2. 1. D4 NF6 2. C4 E6 3. NF3 D5 4. G3 DX C4 5. B G2 NC6 6. QA4 BD7 7. 7. 
QXC4 Na 58. QD3 C59. 0 to 0 BC 610. NC3 CXD411. NXD4 BC 512. Road 1 BXG 213. QB5 plus. ND714. KXG2 A615. QD3 RC816. BG5, B717. BXE7 QXE718. RAC1 NC419. NA4 B520. B30 O21. BXC4 BXA422. NC6 RXC623. QXD7 QC524. RC3 G625. RB1H526. RB7E527. E4RF628. RC2QA329. QD1 Road 630. Road 2 RFD 831. Road 5 RXD 532. CXD5 QXA233. QF3 RF834. QD3 A335. RB3 F5. 36. QXA636. RXA3 FXE437. RXA2 EXD3 would give black the advantage. 36. QXB337. QXG6 plus KH838. QH6 plus kilogram 8 and a half to one half. Topic. Game 4, Topolov Kromnik, 1 half to 1 half. The fourth game ended in a draw after White's 54th move, leaving Kromnik with a 3 to 1 lead. Topolov pressed hard, sacrificing a pawn. He achieved an advantageous endgame but despite five hours of play he failed to convert it 48, QXC4, gave good chances, according to Sergei Shipov on Chespro.ru. Semi-Slav defense, D47 1, D4 D5 2, C4 C6 3, NC3 NF6 4, E3 E6 5, NF3 NBD7 6, BD3 DXC4 7, BXC4 B5 8, BD3 B flat 7 9, A3 B4 10, NA4 NXE4 11, BXE4 BXA3 12 Point O to zero B D six thirteen B three N F six fourteen N D two Q C seven fifteen B F three B X H two plus sixteen K H one B D six seventeen N C four B seven eighteen B X A three O O one nine B X E seven Q X E seven twenty Ra five R F D eight twenty one Kilogram one C five twenty two R X C five N A four twenty three B X E four B X E four twenty four Q G four B D E three twenty five Ra one R A C eight twenty six R A A five R B eight twenty seven Q D one B four twenty eight Q A one R B seven twenty nine N D two B G six thirty Q C three H six thirty one Ra six K H seven thirty two N C four B four thirty three F three B D five thirty four N D two R D B eight 35, QD3 plus F536, RC3 QH437, RA1 QG338, Q 
QC2 RF739, RF1 QG640, QD3 QG341, RFC1 RFB742, QC2 QG543, RA1 QF644, QD3 745, RA4 RBD846, RC5 kg 847, NC4 BXC448, RAXC4 F449, RC6 FXE350, QXE3 RXD451, RXE6 QH452, RXD4 QXD453, RE8 plus KH754. QXD four and a half to one half. Topic Game five Kromnik Topolov zero to one forfeit. Kromnik was due to play the white pieces. The game ended with Topolov winning by forfeit after Kromnik refused to play and his clock had been allowed to run for one hour. Kromnik's lead was reduced to 3-2. This is the first World Chess Championship match since Spassky Fischer 1972 in which a game was forfeited. <laughs> game 6, Topolov Kromnik, 1 half to 1 half. Game 6 was due to be played on September 30, but was postponed until October 2 by the decision of the FIDE president. On September 30 and October 1 negotiations over match continuation between players, their teams, and FIDE took place instead. Kromnik agreed to play Game 6 under protest, with the status of Game 5 to be resolved later. The game was uneventful, ending in a draw after 31 moves. Kromnik played a rare sideline and gradually equalized. Kromnik now led 3 and a half to 2 and a half. Slav defense, d17 1, d4 d5 2, c4 c6 3, nf3 nf6 4, nc3 dx c4 5, a4 bf5 6, ne5 e6 7, f3 c5 8, e4 bg6 9, b3 cx d4 10, qx d4 qx d4 11, bx d4 nf d7 12, nx d D7 NXD713, BXC4 A614, K2RG815, RHD1 RC816, B3 BC517, A5 K718, NA4 B flat 419, NB6 NXB620, BXB6 F621, Road 3 RC622, H 4 RGC 823, G 4 BC 524, Rad 1 BX B 625, Road 7 plus KF 826. Ax B 6 RX B 627, R 1 D 6 RX D 6 28, RX D 6 RC 6 29, RX C 6 BX C 630, B 4 E 531. BXA six and a half to one half. Topic Game seven Topolov Kromnik one half to one half. The five hour game, a semi Slav defense, was characterized as a hard fought sixty move draw. Topolov successfully defended a RBVRN ending a pawn down. Kromnik now led 4-3. Semi-Slav defense, D47 
one D four D five two C four C six three NF three NF six four E three E six five B D three D X C four six B X C four C five seven point O to zero A six eight B flat three C X D four nine dot X four N C six ten N C three B seven eleven Re one O O one two A four B D seven thirteen Ne five B eight fourteen B three R C eight fifteen R C one N B four sixteen Q F three B C six seventeen Q H three B D five eighteen N X D five N B X D five nineteen R C D one R C seven twenty B G five Q C eight twenty one Q F third eight twenty two H four H six twenty three B C one B flat four twenty four R F one B D six twenty five G three B six twenty six Q E two Ne seven twenty seven R F E one B X E five twenty eight dot D X five R X D one twenty nine Q X D one N F D five thirty B D two R C five thirty one Q G four N F five thirty two Q E four B five thirty three H five B X A four thirty four Q X A four R B five thirty five R C one Q B seven thirty six B C two N B six thirty seven Q G four R X B two thirty eight B four Q D seven thirty nine B one N D five forty B D three N B four forty one B F one N D three forty two Q D one N X E five forty three Q X D seven N X D seven forty four R C eight plus K H seven forty five R C seven R B one forty six R X D seven R X E one forty seven R X F seven A five forty eight Kilogram two kilograms eight forty nine Ra seven Re five fifty G four N D six fifty one B D three K F eight fifty two B G six Road five fifty three F three E five fifty four K F two Road two plus fifty five K one Road five fifty six K two R B five fifty seven Road seven Road five fifty eight Raw seven R B five fifty nine B D third five sixty B G six and a half to one half Topic Game eight Kromnik Topolov zero two one Game 8 lasted four and a half hours, and resulted in Topolov's first win over the board in the match, tying the score at 4-4. It featured the strategically unbalanced Marin variation semi-Slav defense. Topolov's 15 QA5 was a theoretical novelty. After 21 moves, the players reached a sharp, complicated, queenless middle game with Topolov having two knights for Kromnik's rook and pawn. Topolov spun a mating web with his knights and rook, aided by Kromnik's mistakes on moves 32 and 41. Semi-Slav defense, d47 1. d4 d5 2. c4 c6 3. NF three NF six four NC three E six five E three NBD seven six BD three DXC four seven BXC four B five eight B two B flat seven nine zero to zero B four ten Na four C five sharper than the standard ten B seven eleven DXC five NXC five twelve B flat five plus this has been played before, but GM Sveshnikov considered it inferior, leaving White's knight awkwardly placed at A four. NC D seven thirteen. Ne five Q C seven fourteen. Q D four road eight fifteen. 
BD2 QA516 BC6 B7 If 17 BX B7 NX E5 17 RFC1 17 B3 avoids the trade of two knights for rook and pawn that now occurs BXC6 18 NXC6 QXA4 19 NXD8 BXD8 20 QXB4 QXB4 21 BXB4 ND5 22 BD6 F5 commenting during the game, Susan Polger wrote, Yasser Sarawan says, I'm not sure what Vladimir thought was attractive about this ending, with KF7 and B flat 6 in the offing. Black looks very good, I agree with Yasser. 23. RC8 N5 B6 24. RC6 B725. Road 1 KF726. RC7 Ra827. RB7 K828. BXE7 KXE729. RC1 A530. RC6 ND531. H4 Polgar wrote that here GM Zavrik, Karakin, and Fedorovich preferred white, while Zagrebelny and Rajabov preferred black. H632. A4. After the game, Polgar wrote of this move. A positional mistake. Better was simply 32. KF1 G533. HXG5 HXG534. K2. Now white has a backward pawn on b3, which comes under attack on move 42. g533. HXG5 HXG534. KF1 G4. Now F2 F3 can be met by G335. K2 N5 F636. B3 Ne 8 37. F3 G3. Keeping more pawns on the board in order to play for the win. 38. RC1 Ne F639. F4 KD640. KF3 ND541. KXG3, 41. RB5 holds. Polgar called this a horrible move but thought White's position was now very bad in any case. 41 NC5 42 RG7 RB8 Now White's position is a mass of weaknesses. White cannot stop Black from invading on either the B or the G file. 43 Raw 7 RG8 plus 44 KF3 Ne 4 45 Ra 6 plus K 746. RXA 5 RG 3 plus 47. K 2 RXE 3 plus 48. KF 1 RXB 3 49. Ra 7 plus KF 650. Ra 8 NXF 4 51. Ra 1 RB 2 52. A 5 RF 2 plus 0 2 1. Topic. Game 9, Topolov Kromnik, 1-0 Game 9 was a three-hour tussle featuring a Slav defense. Topolov's 6, NH4 and 7, NXG6 is a standard idea gaining white the advantage of the bishop pair. Topolov followed up in unusual fashion, however, with a3, g3, and f4 on the next three moves, leading Susan Polger to observe that Topolov made way too many pawn moves in the opening. However, Kromnik was unable to find an effective response and eventually ended up in a middle game position where his two knights were outmatched by Topolov's powerful bishops. Topolov steadily improved his position, seizing space and launching an attack on the king side. A strong tactical blow by Topolov on move 38 won the game for him. 
Kromnik, who had struggled with a steadily deteriorating position in time trouble, resigned following Topolov's 39th move. Topolov took the lead for the first time in the match, with the score now 5-4. Slav defense, d12-1. d4 d5-2. c4 c6-3. nf3 nf6-4. e3 bf5-5. nc3 e6-6. nh4 bg6-7. nx g6 hx g6-8. A3 N B D 7 9. G3 B 7 10. F4 D X C 4 11. B X C 4 0 0 1 2. E4 B 5 13. B2 B 4 14. A X B 4 B X B 4 15. B F3 Q B 6 16. 0 to 0 E 5 17. B3 Rad 8 18. Na 4 QB 8 19. QC 2 EXF 4? Holger. This is not a good move. He had to take the D pawn. 20. BXF 4 QB 7 21. Rad 1 RFE 8 22. BG 5 B 7 23. KH 1 NH 7 24. B 3 BG 5 25. BG1 NHF8 26. H4 B7 27. E5 NB8 28. NC3 B flat 4 Yasser Sarawan. Vladimir's position is slipping away. 29. QG2 QC8 30. RC1 BXC3? 31. BXC3 NA6 32. BG4 QC733. RCD1 ND734. QA2 NB635. RF3 NF8. 36. RDF1 RE737. B3 NH738. RXF7 ND539. R7 F31-0. Topic. Game 10, Kromnik Topolov, 1-0 Kromnik played the solid Catalan system. At move 17, Topolov, playing black, offered Kromnik the opportunity to win a pawn if he was willing to give up his fianchettoed king's bishop for a knight and thus weaken his king position. Kromnik accepted the offer. Susan Polger wrote that Topolov's compensation is his bishop pair, good knight on e4 and the white knight is pinned on b5. However, Topolov blundered on move 24, allowing Kromnik to win a second pawn. Topolov then gave up his rook for a knight and two pawns. That left Kromnik ahead a rook for a knight and, after forcing the trade of queens, he won the endgame easily. The match was now level 5 to 5. Catalan opening, E08. 1, D4 NF6 2, C4 E6 3, NF3 D5 4, G3 B flat 4 plus 5, BD2 B7 6, BG2 0 7.0 to 0 C6 8, BF4 NBD7 9, QC2 A5 10, Road 1 NH5 11, BC1 B5 12.CXD 5 CX D5 13 E4 DX E4 14 QX E4 RB8 15 QE2 NHF 6 16 BF4 RB6 17 NA5 ND5 18 BX D5 EX D5 19 NC3 NF6 20 NX B5 BA 6 21 A4 NA4 22 RDC1 QE823 RC7 BD824 RA7F6 Polgar This is a blunder 
ND7 RF726, NXB6 RXA727, NXD5 Road 728, NDC3 RXD429, RE1 F530, QC2 RB431, ND5 RXB532. XB5 QXB533 NC7 QC434 QD1 BXC735 QD7 the point of Kromnik's clever 34, QD1 rather than the expected 34, QXC4, which also would have won. Now white threatens both the bishop and 36, QE8 hash, H636, QXC7 QB437, QB8 plus QXB838, BXB8 ND239, RA1 G540, F4 NB341, RA3 BC442, BC7 G443. BXA five one O Topic Game eleven Topolov Kromnik one half to one half The eleventh game ended in a draw after sixty six moves, leaving the match level at five and a half to five and a half. Towards the end, Kromnik was pressing hard for the full point, a pawn ahead in a rook and bishop endgame, but was unable to convert his advantage. Slav defense, d12 1, d4 d5 2, c4 c6 3, nf3 nf6 4, e3 bf5 5, nc3 e6 6, nh4 bg6 7, nxg6 hxg6 8, rb1 this move is a novelty, 8, nbd7 9, c5 a5 10, a3 e5 11, b4 axb4 12. axb4 qc7 13, f4 exf4 13, nh5 14. fx5 ing3 15, rg1 rxh2 16, qf3 b7 17, bd3 bh4 18, kd1 14. xf4 b7 15, b2 nf8 16.0 to 0 ne 6 17, g3 qd7 18, qd3 18, b5, NXC5, 19. DXC5, BXC5 plus 20, KH1, QH3 or 20, kg 2, QH3 plus 21, KF3, ING4 wins NE4 19, NXE4, DXE4 20, QXE4, QXD4 plus 21, QXD4, NXD4 22, BC4, O O two three kilogram two ra four twenty four road one road eight twenty five b three bf six twenty six g four kf eight twenty seven bf two ne six twenty eight rxd eight plus bxd eight twenty nine f five gxf five thirty dot gxf five nf four plus thirty one kf three nh five thirty two rb B3 BC733, H4 NF634, BD3 ND735, B4 NA5 plus 36, kg 2 RA237, B flat 1 road 238, KF1 ING 439, BG1 BH240, K1 road 541, BF2 K742, H5 
KXF-2 KXF-2 KF-644, KF-3-445, B5RC-446, BXC-6, BXC-647, RB-6, RXC-548, B4 kg-549, RXC-6 RA-550, RB-6 RA-3 plus 51. Kilogram 2 BC 752. RB7 RC353. KF2 KXH554. BD5 F655. K2 kilograms 456. B4 KF457. BD3 RC558. RB4 plus kilogram 359. RC4 RE5 plus 60. RE4 RA561, RE3 plus kilogram 262, B4 plus KH263, RB3 RA2 plus 64, KD3 BF465, KC4 RE266. KD5 and a half to one half. Topic Game Twelve Kromnik Topolov One Half to One Half This game featured the same variation of the Slav defense 6, NH4 BG67, NXG6 HXG6 as in games 9 a Topolov win and 11 a draw, but for the first time Kromnik played the white side of this line. In a queen and rook endgame, with both kings open, Topolov forced a draw by perpetual check. This left the score tied 6-6 at the end of regular time control play Kromnik 6 Topolov 5 in played games, plus the game 5 forfeit in favor of Topolov. Tie-breaker games were now played to determine the outcome of the match. Slav defense, D12 1, d4 d5 2, c4 c6 3, nf3 nf6 4, e3 bf5 5, nc3 e6 6, nh4 bg6 7, nxg6 hxg6 8, g3 nbd7 9, bd2 b flat 4 10, qb3 bxc3 11, bxc3 ne 4 12, B G two N X C three thirteen Q X C three F five fourteen point O to zero Q E seven fifteen dot C X D five E X D five sixteen B four N F six seventeen R F C one N A four eighteen Q B two O O one nine B five R A C eight twenty dot B X C six B X C six twenty one QE2G 522, RAB1 QD723, RC2 RF624, RBC1G425, RB2 RH626, QA6 RC727, RB8 plus KH728, QA3 RB729, QF8 RXB830, QXB Q8 QF731, QC8 QH532, KF1 ND2 plus 33, K1 NC434, BF1 RF635, BXC4 DXC436, RXC4 QXH237, K2 QH138, RC5 QB139, Q a6 QB2 plus 40, KF1 QB1 plus 41, K2 QB2 plus 42, KF1 RH643, QD3 G644. QB3 and a half to one half. Topic. Tie break games.
Topic Game 13 Topalov Kromnik 1 half to 1 half In the middle game of this first game in the rapid tie break Topalov made a pawn offer which Kromnik accepted Kromnik then exploited some tactics to return the pawn and trade into a level endgame. Slav defense, d18, 1. d4 d5 2. c4 c6 3. nf3 nf6 4. nc3 dx c4 5. a4 bf5 6. e3 e6 7. Bx c4 b flat 4 8. 0 to 0 n b d7 9. Q e2 0 0 1 0. E4 b g6 11. B d3 b h5 12. E5 n d5 13. N x d5 c x d5 14. Q e3 re8 15. Ne 1 r c8 16. F4 BX E1 17. RX E1 BG6 18. BF1 RC2 19. B3 QA5 20. B flat 5 road 8 21. RE2 RCC 8 22. BD2 QB6 23. RF2 A6 24. BF1 RC6 25. B4 RC2 26. B5 A5 27. BC3 RX F2 28. QX F2 QA7 29. QD2 RA8 30. RC1 NB6 31. B flat 2 NX A4 32. BA3 H6 33. H3 B4 34. KH two N B six thirty five B C five A four thirty six Ra one N C four thirty seven B X C four B six thirty eight Q E three R C eight thirty nine B F one B X C five forty D X C five Q X C five forty one Q X C five R X C five forty two B6 RC643. B7 RB644. BA6 D445. RXA4 BX B746. BX B7 RX B747. RX D4 and a half to one half. Topic. Game 14, Kromnik Topolov, 1 0. White obtained a minimal advantage from the opening, which he maintained until queens were exchanged. Kromnik won in the endgame, to go up 1 and a half to 1 half. Semi Slav defense, d45, 1. d4, d5, 2. C4 C6 3. NF3 NF6 4. NC3 E6 5. E3 NB D7 6. QC2 BD6 7. B3 0 0 8. B2 B6 9. 0 to 0 B flat 7 10. B flat 2 Re8 11. Rad 1 Q E7 12. RFE 1 RAC 8 13. BD 3 E 5 14. E 4 DX C 4 15. BX C 4 B 5 16. BF 1 G 6 17. QD 2 RC D 8 18. QG 5 A 6 19. H 3 EX D 4 20. NX D 4 Q E 5 21. QX E5 NX E5 22. NC2 G5 23. BC1 H6 24. B3 C5 25. F3 BF8 26. BF2 BC8 27. NE3 B628. NED5 BX D5 29. EX D5 NED7 30. 
RXE8 RXE8 31. A4 B4? Conceding white the passed upon. Was equivalent with complete strategic surrendering. GM Mihail Marin commenting on Chessbase. 32. NE4 NXE4 33. FXE4 NF6 34. D6 NXE4 35. D7 Road 8 36. BXA6 F5 37. A5 BG7 38. BC4 plus KF8 39. A6 NXF2 40. KXF2 BD4 plus 41. RXD4, CXD442. A7 K743. BD5 KXD744. A8 equals QRXA845. BXA8 1 0. Topic. Game 15, Topolov Kromnik, 1 0. Topolov equalized the tiebreak match with the sort of kingside attack he has become famous for. Slav defense, d12 1. d4 d5 2. c4 c6 3. nf3 nf6 4. e3 bf5 5. nc3 e6 6. nh4 bg6 7. B2 NBD 78.0-0 BD 6-9. G3 DXC 4-10. BXC 4 NB 6-11. B2 0-0-1-2. NXG 6 HXG 6-13. E4 E5 14. F4 EXD 4-15. QXD 4 Q E7 16. Kilogram 2 BC 517. QD3 Rad 818. QC2 BD 419. E5 NFD 520. RF3 NXC 321. BXC3 BC 522. BD2 Road 723. RE1 RFD 824. BD3 QE 625. BC1 F526. QE2 KF827. Road 1 QE728. H4 Road 529. QC2 NC430. RH1 NA331. QE2 QD732. Road 1 B533. G4 FXG434. RG3 K7? 35. F5 GXF5 36. BG5 plus K8 37. E6 QD6 38. BXF5. RXD1 39. BG6 plus KF8 40. E7 plus QXE7 41. BXE7 plus BXE742. BD3 RA143. QB2 Road 144. QE2 RA145. QXG4 RXA2 plus 46. KH3 BF647. QE6 Road 248. BG6 R2 D749. RF3 B450. H5 1 to 0. Topic. Game 16, Kromnik Topolov, 1 to 0. Just like in the second tiebreak game, Kromnik displayed his skill in positions where the queens have been exchanged. Topolov's small inaccuracy on move 20 was punished by a precise sequence of moves from Kromnik, which eventually won him a pawn. In an extremely difficult position, Topolov made one final blunder, and the match was over. Semi-Slav defense, d47 1. d4 d5 2. c4 c6 3. 
NF3 NF64 NC3E65 E3 NBD76 BD3 DXC47 BXC4 B58 B2 B flat 79 0 to 0 B710 E4 B411 E5 BXC312 EXF6 BXF613 BXC3 C514 DXC5 NXC515 B flat 5 plus KF816 QXD8 plus RXD817 BA3 RC818 ND4 B719 RFD1 A6 20 BF1 NA4 20 NA4 was better 21 RAB1 B4 22 RB3 BXA3 23 RXA3 NC5 24 NB3 K7 25 Road 4 BG 6 26 C4 RC 6 27 NXC5 RXC5 28 RXA6 RB8 29 Road 1 RB230 Ra 7 plus KF 631. Ra 1 RF 532, F3 Re 533. Ra 3 RC 234. RB 3 Ra 535. A 4 K 736. RB 5 Ra 737. A 5 KD 638. A 6 KC 739. C5 RC340 RAA5 RC141 RB3 KC642 RB6 plus KC743 KF2 RC2 plus 44 K3 RXC5 45 RB7 plus 1 to 0 since 45 RXB746, RXC5 plus KB647. AXB7 and Black cannot recapture the Rook without allowing White's pawn to promote. Topolov's 44. RXC5, cost him the game and the title. However, in a post match interview, Kromnik claimed that he had a decisive advantage even before Topolov's blunder. According to Australian GM Ian Rogers in Chess Life Online, White should still win against the superior defence 44. E5 with 45, Rab 5. Forfeit asterisk. Topic. Bathroom controversy. Topic. Allegations and forfeit On September 28, 2006, the rest day between Games 4 and 5, Topolov's manager Silvio Danilov complained to the match organizers and the press about Kromnik's repeated visits to the bathroom. He noted that the bathrooms are the only place not under audio or video surveillance, and called the frequency of the breaks. Strange, if not suspicious. Danilov suggested that Topolov would abandon the match if the concerns were not addressed. On September 29, 2006, the Appeals Committee, which consisted of Georgios Makropoulos, Jorge Vega, and Zarab Azmiparishvili, determined that, although the frequency of Kromnik's visits to the toilet had been exaggerated, the private bathrooms would be closed and a common toilet opened for both players. In response, Kromnik's manager Karsten Hensel issued a public statement insisting that the original match conditions be adhered to, defending Kromnik's actions by saying, The restroom is small and Mr. Kromnik likes to walk and therefore uses the space of the bathroom as well. It should also be mentioned that Mr. Kromnik has to drink a lot of water during the games. Otherwise, 
Mr. Kromnik will stop playing this match as long as Fide is not ready to respect Mr. Kromnik's rights, in this case to use the toilet of his own restroom whenever he wishes to do so. Hensel also declared his lack of confidence in the appeals committee and demanded that its members be changed. Awaiting a reversal of the appeal committee's decision, Kromnik refused to play Game 5. At 5 p.m. local time, the chief arbiter declared that Kromnik had forfeited. Fide President Kursan Ilyamzhanov told Kromnik. I hereby inform you of my full trust in the members of the Match Appeals Committee and their latest decision taken in respect of the appeal of Topolov's team dated 28 September 2006. I am also asking you in good faith to continue your participation in this match. Later, it emerged that Kromnik's team made a procedural blunder by not filing their protest before he defaulted the fifth game. The players were invited for a meeting by Ilyamzhanov to discuss the actual situation of the match and to solve the problems. Ilyamzhanov stated that cancelling the forfeit was possible, but that if no compromise was reached by noon on 1 October, the match would not continue. On October 1, 2006, Fide announced that agreement had been reached that the original bathroom arrangements would be reinstated and that the appeals committee had resigned and would be replaced. Later that day, Fide announced that Game 6 would be played on October 2, with the forfeit standing and the score Kromnik 3 Topolov 2. Kromnik replied that he was ready to proceed playing the match by reserving all my rights. My further participation will be subject to the condition to clarify my rights regarding Game 5 at later stage. On October 3, 2006, the new appeals committee responded to Kromnik's appeal against the Game 5 forfeit saying that they had no powers to vary the decisions of the original appeals committee. Earlier, Kromnik had said that if his appeal fails, the only thing I know for sure is that in this case I will sue Fide. Kromnik's manager expressed concern that a member of Topolov's team might attempt to plant an electronic device in Kromnik's bathroom to foster suspicion that Kromnik is cheating. He suggested several measures relating to the inspection of the bathroom and Kromnik's person meant to forestall this possibility. Reactions. On October 2, 2006, more than 30 GMs, WGMs, and IMs expressed open support for Kromnik's position, including former world champions Anatoly Karpov and Boris Spassky, and multiple-time challenger Viktor Korchnoi. Spassky and Korchnoi had been involved in controversial World Chess Championship matches World Chess Championship 1972 and World Chess Championship 1978 respectively. Spassky felt that Fischer had only disputed against the organizers, not his opponent's conduct. Korchnoi, in an interview, stated that he would simply have walked out of the match. Kromnik protests On October 10, 2006, in a press release Team Kromnik said, "...should the decision of Fide regarding the fifth game have any influence on the awarding of the World Championship title, with Mr. Topolov receiving the title after being granted a free point for the unplayed game, Mr. Kromnik declares unequivocally." I will not recognize Mr. Topolov as world champion under these conditions, and I will take legal action against Fide at the end of the world championship. Since Kromnik won the match, this situation did not eventuate. <laughs> Later allegations 
On October 4, Topolov's manager, Silvio Danilov, issued a press release that identified what it labeled coincidence statistics, showing the percentage of times that Kromnik played a move that would be recommended by Chessbase's Fritz 9 chessplaying software in that position about 78% on average. GM Susan Polger, who did not believe Kromnik was using computer assistance, characterized this as another black eye for Danilov and chess. Even if he believes that it is true, he should complain to the committee and not through a press release. This is unprofessional and unacceptable. At the press conference following Game 7, Kromnik commented on the second game where the Fritz analysis had shown a match with 87% of Kromnik's moves. Kromnik said. A proper analysis must take into consideration that in the second game we both blundered a mate in three. First of all, this 87% is total nonsense, everything depends on the time allotted to the engine for analyzing a given position. Secondly, Topolov's percentages in San Luis, for example, were even higher. In an interview with the Spanish Daily ABC published on 14 December 2006, Topolov alleged that Kromnik had cheated with computer help during the match, that network cables had been found in the bathroom ceiling, that threats were issued, and that he felt physically unsafe during the match. Aftermath. Kromnik, as the winner of the match, earned the FIDE World Champion slot in the World Chess Championship 2007, an eight-player, double round-robin tournament. The loser of the match, Topolov, was eliminated from the 2007 World Championship cycle. Despite this, Topolov's manager was quoted after the match as saying, FIDE regulations allow every world champion that has lost the title to challenge the title holder. The total prize fund is $1.5 million. We will find this money and will request the game to take place in Sofia. We will offer an exact date, 3rd of March 2007. When FIDE announced plans for the 2007-2009 World Championship cycle, it was confirmed that Topolov was excluded from the 2007 tournament, but he along with Kromnik, was given special privileges for the 2008 and 2009 cycle. The allegations of cheating seriously damaged relations between Kromnik and Topolov. Nine years after the match, in 2015, Kromnik stated in an interview that he does not respect Topolov as a person and will not shake hands with him. As of 2017, Kromnik and Topolov still refuse to shake hands in their encounters. Their rival scores after 2006 are tied in classical chess plus 3, minus 3, equals 3 as of April 2017, and despite their rivalry, their games are still in very high quality. Notable games include Topolov's Brilliant Sacrifice 12. NXF7 in Chorus 2008. Topic. Notes. Topic. External links The games on chessgames.com Chesspro.ru – live coverage in Russian and English